If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Now we're going to spend a few minutes just talking about how to connect switches to each other, because this can get a little complicated, but we're going to use the same tool that we were just talking about. I actually want to connect these 27650 with some DACs. Um, I don't need optics because they're going to be right next to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and connect these two with the connection tool and it's going to bring up the ports that are available. Um, so now this is, I want to be using the QSFP plus ports that are built into the system. So I'm going to be making multiple connections that way. I'm going to be clicking on the number one port over here and the number port, one port on my second switch. Now notice down here that I'm going to get this interesting um, message that says there's no cable found. That's because Iris will default to a, a cable length of 150 feet. Um, it's not smart enough currently to figure out that I'm trying to connect two switches right next to each other because it doesn't really know. And so if I change that, and let's say I want to have a one meter cable, right now I'm working in feet, so I'm going to say three, it is going to select the appropriate cable. Um, so you do have to remember that, when you're, especially when you're working with a DAC, that you're going to have to say the cable length and then it will give you your options at that length. So this is the appropriate um, cable for me. I like that one. I'm going to click connect and it's now going to connect these two switches together. You notice if I pull these switches apart, sometimes this is actually a, a better way of looking at it because they're not stacked right on top of each other. The connections go with the switch and so if I need to rearrange my topology, or rearrange my access points, uh, I most certainly can, and those connections are going to stay with the switch. Notice I have this connection here. I want to have redundant connections so I can do the same thing again. I can either use the connection tool or I can right click and say connect. Um, in the case that I do that, I'm going to have to actually select the second piece of equipment that I want to connect it to. And let's choose another available QSFP port. Sometimes when you select over here on the right hand side, you have to actually go back and select again on the left. That's just a bit of an interface um, issue that we have reported to in Tangi. Um, and I'm sure they will fix. Go ahead and we can click connect here. And it's going to now add a second connection between these two switches. Now that I have my core switches stacked, I now need to connect my access layer switches. In order to do that, I'm not going to be able to use DAC because in this example, this is way too far. So I'm going to need to use 10 gig optics. So in my 7650 currently, I have QSFP plus ports. So those aren't going to work. But the 7650 does have an expansion slot. So if I click down here on the slot selection, I can add a four port SFP plus module that should do quite nicely. Notice when I add the slot, I have a new option up here and it's highlighted to bring your attention to it. I have this four port SFP plus module that I can now configure. So as I'm going to click on that and then I have four ports. If I click here, I can add my optics right here that I'm going to need in order to connect that switch. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to just add a 10 base T 10, 10 gig base T long range SFP plus module. And I'm going to add another one of those down here uh, because I actually want to connect to both switches. Now, if I click on the second switch, I can easily go through and do just what I did. I can click on slot. I'm going to add that four port SFP plus module to the slot. I'm going to drill down into and configure that slot. And I'm going to add my transceivers. What this will do is it will now give me additional ports that I can now use in order to connect these switches. My next step is that I need to do the same thing for the switches that I'm going to connect into. So if I click here, I have an SFP plus uplink ports already. They're built in. And I can come down here into 
and I'm going to add the matching transceivers. I want to connect these IDF switches to actually both of the switches, so each one of them is going to get two. Connect to my other switch and do the entire process again. Notice it remembered which tab I was on. It's trying to make things as easy for me as possible. Now that I have the optics connected, I can now connect these switches together. I can do that process very simply using the connect tool that I've used before. Selecting my new 10 gig LR connections. Choosing the correct one over there as well. Now, since I'm working with a different cable length, I'm going to need to change that. It's going to select a single mode cable, which is exactly what I need. And then I can do the same thing to connect to my switch over here. I have one of two available because I'm using the first one to connect to this switch. And I can connect to the slot over here as well. It's going to remember my cable length and I can connect. I can do the same thing for my additional switch here and choose these new optics that I just loaded in there. Connect to the remaining one on the other switch. And I can do the same thing here. And now I have redundant pathways. All of my access points are powered effectively. I've added my smart zone for management and I have a happy little network here and a bill of materials been vetted and is technically correct. The last step before I print out this bill of materials and, and send it to wherever I need to is I need to think about licensing. And so as I click on this Ruckus smart zone, this makes finding which licenses I need very easy. I can click on it, go to the licenses tab, and it has all of the management license here with their appropriate SKUs. I have four access points that I'd like to manage, so I'm going to get four AP management licenses. I have four switches that I'd like to manage, so I'm going to get four of those. If I want URL filtering or anything of the sort, I can also add those licenses here. And now that I've added them, I can click the quotation right here and it will actually pop out my quotation with everything that I've just added to it. 